That's the difference. Okay. That's pretty crappy. Whole freaking bulb is in there. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know who I'm back, back, baby, with another video. Sorry I got y'all on my head, so y'all can't see me, but I'm here. It's your boy Q. So today, man, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some new lights here for the old BMW. These are Philips H7 Diamond Vision lights, and I got these off of Amazon as well. It's Mars Auto, and y'all can see there. So I'm not sure how these are looking, if they're going to give me an LED issue on my lamp polarity it might come up led like it's missing because the polarity doesn't match something like that but you can just turn it off in the settings here so we're going to do that today should be a quick easy job the uh, light is right there not sure if i can see you just turn it off pull them out put them in boom and also i'm going to actually give her a bath i have not washed this bike since i had it not at all so shame on me also we're going to fix this issue right here i got some just to stick that back up there's two bulbs per housing there's a small one and then your two big ones so as you can see these are blue housing and what that means is from what i read that at night time they won't give you the better output actually the stock will but these are actually give you better uh, visibility at daytime because you know I, i'm mostly riding at daytime guys i haven't rode at night at all since i had the bike so this will just make me more visible to oncoming cars give me a brighter white i think blue light i think is what it said it's supposed to the the stock one there but you know just just know that if you're going to be riding at nighttime this probably will not be as great of light output as your stock and i have jacked this glove all the way up but anyway let's turn this cap it should just turn yep come off like that you see let's go ahead and take this one out just a little switch right there just pulls off and you got two clamps i'm not sure if y'all can see and i think you just push these over and out like so Pull that up, and then the bulb should just come on out. There we go. Bam, just like that. So remember the orientation. See that tab? It's pointed upward. Just remember the orientation. Make sure you put it back the same way. Now, let's go ahead and get the other little one out. And I believe that's like back over here in the corner. I see it there. So it's kind of hidden down there. How the heck are you supposed to get that thing out? That thing is way down there hidden. This is where having small hands definitely will help. There we go. Not bad. Just get a little tug there. And there it is. Boom. Not sure if y'all can see, but right there. So I believe these are 180. So you have to make sure they don't work. Just rotate them. That one in. So let's give it a turn and see. Woo. Yep. There it is. And do we get a lamp issue? Don't see a lamp issue. No. So perfect. Look at the difference. Boom versus boom. Huge difference, man. Yeah, that looks much better. Much sharper, much brighter. Go. Boom. So remember our orientation, how we had it here. Like that. So we're just going to take this. Lift this up. Okay, guys. Got it back in there. Then we just go ahead and reconnect our plug. Like that. Nice little click for you. Make sure it's solid. So let's go ahead and turn the lights on. See what it looks like. Mic on. That's the difference. Big difference. Huge difference. Look at that. Is the final look. Yep. It looks a lot better. Wee. Wee. You see that thing? Throttle side took forever to get in. One, the clutch cable was in the way because it goes across. Two, I couldn't get the small bulb out, so I had to go all the way home and get some needle nose to pull it out. Let me go get her cleaned up real quick. Leave it up to Q to mess up. Look at this. That. That's the extra bulb. That's the extra one. That one fell off. See how it broke? So I tried to remove it, and it got stuck in the housing, and it fell out. And it's in the housing now. I don't even know how to get that out. <laughs> I probably have to remove... I don't even know. Whole freaking bulb is in there. And that's the pieces that broke off. Hopefully they don't cause no issues sitting in there, but. All right guys, so I got everything cleaned up. She all good. I'm not sure what this white stuff is right there. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Every time I wipe it up, it just comes back. I'm not sure. And for this right there, my turn signal, I just put some um, Sugru, Sugru, whatever. Sugru, that, yeah. Just put some of that on there. But yeah, she's all cleaned up now, man. I re the chain. Since I washed it, 
But yeah, she looking good. Looking real good. I'm gonna give y'all a cold start real quick of what the truck sounds like with the VTA mod cold start. Sounds kind of funny. Listen here. Let's see. Hear that? So yeah, it does sound a little funny. Not bad, just a little different for sure. I know Brielle was like, why your truck sound like that? <laughs> you know, when I did it. So what we doing today, we actually about to go get red. Some new shocks. I actually replaced the real shocks. I'll show y'all after we get them done, we'll replace them with. But as you all know, I had a rough country lip. <laughs> Got the freaking hiccups. So as you guys know, I have a rough country lift kit. So I have the rough country shock back here. If you can see six inch shocks. Yeah, I got the freaking hiccup. I cannot be trying to get rid of the hiccups all day. Guys, so a lot of you all comments. I didn't realize once COVID happened, I'm guessing YouTube short on resources. I used to get all of my comments through the app. I don't get them th all through the app. I get like some. And then I went to the computer one day and checked my comments. I had so many unread comments I didn't respond to, guys. So I apologize. If you're getting response from me now and it's kind of late, it's probably because I didn't see the comment. I wasn't annoying you. But I do annoy some of y'all. Some of you guys are trolls, man. Y'all just like to comment negative stuff and all that. But anyway, that's that's what it is. I now have to use computers to check my comments because I just wasn't getting them. I want to focus on the performance just a little bit. And when I say performance, not going faster or anything like that. Just focus on the quality just a tad bit. Just make sure all my suspension components and everything is riding, riding. You know, just got good stuff on there. My man Justin, where I got my tent done, head over there. He's going to they're gonna do it for me. Also, I do want to talk about, I know a few of y'all have commented on VTA mods, very popular video. A lot of y'all watched that one. What I noticed when driving it, there is kind of like a lag. Not when you're flowing it, but like, let's say I'm going, I accidentally let off the throttle for a second, but I want to get back home. The truck seems kind of confused and like, it doesn't sputter, it's just kind of like, oh, what I'm supposed to do? And then it does what it's supposed to do. And another guy commented and said he felt a lot when he was uh, towing with his truck. And another guy said it's called the lag or something like that. So that definitely that definitely is there. Only under certain conditions, though. It's not all the time. It's, it's nothing bad at all. But I'll catch y'all when we get over to uh, DFW Camping Corral. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So we got the new shocks on. Hold on, I can't see. There they go. So we went up some Fox shocks. Both sides. <laughs> oh yeah. Here it is, my bad. So I got a question. I must probably sound crazy. I'm a trip post have a truck channel. Why is one opposite? Back front side, back side. Uh it's to keep, axle, it's to keep the pressure on the axle center. Okay. Because you, know I mean? you can't mount them straight up on the axle. Okay. So they do them one on each side, that way it's not like ah. pushing, you know, from the wrong way. Gotcha. Both sides, yeah. Alright guys, I'll make fun. I know some of y'all in the comments just People be trolling me. You're supposed to be a truck guy, but you don't know anything. I never said I know everything, but yeah, it's I'm, like I'm it's learning, like man. Around. Like the, the dampening is better if you got uh -huh. one on this side, one on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Two on one. Yeah, you know, Makes sense. On one side. So yeah, we got Fox. These are just like what the 2.0. Yeah, just regular 2.0s. 2.0s. Yeah. Wrong. What are the other in the back seat? Uh, shoot, they should from the bed. Oh, here they are. Yeah. So here are the old ones. These. Oh, they were the N3s. Oh shit, I lied. So in my video, I said they weren't the N3s. I never saw this logo, I could not find it. So they were the N3s, I apologize. Man. Well, still a lot shittier than Fox. <laughs> Demonetized. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I don't have no sponsors, man. Only facts on this channel. So this is my first look to truck, Jess. I'm not sure if you know. So I never really had to compare like Fox Shocks versus Rough Country versus BDS Lift Kit versus Rough Country. Or yeah, it's like stock versus Rough Country. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I don't know, but I, I honestly did not think these were in threes. I thought they were the old ones, and I apologize. So, P compress this thing. Compress this thing. Hell yeah! Do you compress it right here? Okay. That's pretty crappy. Is it? It's supposed to be what, spring up a lot faster. Oh, uh, uh, it's still going to, up. They're not supposed to be that easy. Oh. Wait, which is easy to go down? Yeah, they're not, you're not supposed to be able to push them down like that. Yeah, you just, let me see how hard is that? Let me try it. So you just push. Oh yeah, I'm doing it with one hand. Yeah, I guarantee you if you try to do that on those boxes, yeah. you're going to be on here with all your whole body weight. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause, cause when I put them on my truck, man, yeah. it was hell getting them on there cause you couldn't get them to press down enough. Yeah. They're okay. hard to put on there. Oh shit. So anyway, so that's what I decided to do, guys. Y'all can see. I'll talk about that more in a second yeah. uh, after I pay. This is just a new truck. What year again? 
19. 19. Yeah. So last time we was on the channel, he had the 2720 what? 18. 18. So now he has a 35 EcoBoost. And he goes, show me his. Okay, the 20 doesn't look that dark for me. I see what you're saying now. That ain't too bad. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't look too bad. All you can see is that chrome reflecting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now you see, he got a system. So you go, go ahead and show me your system. Uh, let me listen to it real quick. You want me in the front over here? Yeah, you hop in the passenger seat. All right, passenger seat. All right. Hop in the passenger seat. So hold up, before we get started, we got to do factory watch collar music or my video get demonetized. Oh, I know, man. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, you ain't no way around it. Or how about some uh, like music, no name, some no name music? Like it depends. You talk. Maybe all you, all you, you hear is bass in the camera. Oh, maybe you I'll, I'll turn the words down. Turn the bass all the way up. All right, we can do that. Yeah. If I had to cut it down, y'all trust me, it's loud. Cause YouTube copyright claim system picks everything, bro. Yeah. And so I won't be able to get my video monetized. Us, um, swipe, um, scar, scar. So, a lot of people were telling me about scar in the comments. A lot of you all was mentioning scar is a good one to go with. Do it's a 12? It's a 15. Dude, this thing is huge. <laughs> I didn't see it. So, I was looking right here. I know. And, and these like, little Where's Alpine, I'm from? like, wait, this like, little Alpine putting out that much bass? <laughs> and then I finally saw her, like, holy shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that that is loud, man. I like that. It's nice, clean, too. So, it's a scar. Huh? It's their ZVX 15. Scar ZVX 15. Yeah, it's kind of like their top of the line. They have one that's bigger. It's called okay. the DNR 15, but it's like a thousand bucks or something like that. How much was this one just for people wanting? 350. 350? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now, Fair. how do you feel about losing like, your backseat space though? Uh, I don't care. I can still fold that seat down. Okay. So I still set two people. I've never set three people. Okay. All right. I know a lot of people may worry about space, but like you said, oh, yeah. your truck, you don't have a lot of people. Like my truck, I rarely have people back in my truck. Yeah, so. I can still sit two people, that's all I care about. Yeah, this, these Alpine right here aren't plugged up? No, those are actually for somebody. I was going to sell them to somebody from an old build. Oh, what are those? It's just little Type S 6x9s. 6x9s. Oh, okay. Like door speakers? Yeah, like okay. door speakers. Gotcha. And then you got, what kind of amp is that? So that's a Tar Amps. Tar Amps. Yeah. Tar Amps. I ain't never seen them. Okay. Yeah, you may not have heard of them. They're made out of yeah. Brazil. Okay. Um, That's their Smart 3K. Okay. Cool thing about that amp is uh -huh. most amps you do, it does their max power at one ohm, okay. two ohms. It does like, you know, two thirds of it. All right. That amp does max power at one ohm and two ohms. Okay. So you can you can get three K out of it at either wiring configuration. I'm pretty sure some a lot of y'all probably know what all that means. I don't know. What that means. <laughs> yeah. I trust you just. I it basically just... means it's some bad ass. <laughs> <laughs> and what's that right there? The uh, LC2 thing. Uh, that's my lineout converter. Uh, oh, okay, got Base processor. Um, nice thing about the LC2 is you can uh, turn up the low notes separately. Oh, okay. So if you want your lows to hit real crisp yeah, and hard. Yeah, yeah. Factory audio systems, mm -hmm. they'll roll off at, after like, you know, a certain amount of hertz. Yeah. Your notes will get real weak. Okay, gotcha. So that kind of fixes that problem. Gotcha. And then I did all the clean wiring back there. And yeah, I'm going to tell you, look at that power wire, dude. What size is that? One out. Jesus, <laughs> that thing is thick, bro. Yeah, and I'm still getting voltage. The reason my amp went to protect, cause yeah. Oh, you got this right here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm getting really bad voltage drop, man. What's this? Uh, this is to tell me my amp's clipping. Oh, okay, gotcha. And also when it goes into protect, and then this is my base knot. Base knot. All I have is the one out run, so okay. I need to do electrical upgrades because my sh my voltage is dropping, and that's what's causing the amp to clip. Ah, okay. It's not getting the volts that it needs to see. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I need to fix that so I can really push this thing to its limit. But yeah, man, dude, that shit is loud, Hell and yeah. it's clean, like yeah. clean, clean. Oh yeah. I, I noticed it. So clean. I noticed the difference than uh, as my little cheap pioneer sub I had over there. That's yeah. That's a, that's a big difference. <laughs> that shit hits, man. That's a big difference, man. Yeah, yeah, the box is four cubes almost. It is. It's huge, man. Yeah. But four cubic feet. But do they make anything like slim fit, like that will go back? Like my styles or underneath the seat? I don't think they do, honestly. They don't? I don't think they do make any shallow. They might. I might be wrong about that. Okay. But I know like even like their EVL twelve uh -huh. two hundred bucks subwoofer is badass. Man. Is it? But would it take up like the space by the same amount? Yeah, what? You same can't amount put of space. Seats, so. All right, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. And like I was saying, you need to go with that JL or the, the JL. Audio. Yeah. Or the, uh, I Two eights or one eight. Yeah. Two eights would sound good. Two eights sound good. I'm thinking I can't have it. Uh -huh. That would be crazy. I'm not looking for crazy. I know you're not looking for crazy. Yeah. It's perfect for you. Yeah. It'll sound yeah. really clean. Whoa, I almost had an accident. Wow. I don't know why they got a stop sign right here anyway. This definitely needs to be a uh, 
a light. So I decided to go with the Fox Shocks, as you can see. The reason being mainly because of the the cost and the deal I got going through uh, Justin there. I'm glad I didn't go in threes because I already had in threes. And actually, my man Shadow Spaz, if you're watching this video, he was about to send me his in threes because he, he upgraded to the V2 rear shocks. I thought I didn't have in threes. But I wasn't going to go with the V2 from Rough Country, but they, I think they were like, they were like $250 for a pair, which, you know, isn't bad. Probably out the installation looking at $310. I got this whole setup for $340, and then I got Fox Shock. So that was the main thing. That boy clean. But anyway, guys, so it's been about a few, it's been about a few days since I got this, the new shocks put on. Um, I wanted to drive it first, just a few, get, you know, see how I roll with the shocks, the new shocks. I will tell you right now that these are a lot better than the uh, than the rough country shocks I had on there. They are a lot smoother. It, I can tell it's, it's a noticeable difference. And for sure, it definitely has the truck riding a lot smoother than it did with the rough country shocks. Like, it's, it's noticeable. It still bumps, but you can tell the shocks are absorbing the bumps a lot more. You don't feel it as much in the interior of the cabin. But also, I noticed that the truck also feel like it, it rides smoother. I can definitely tell now that I feel more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta check it out, bro. Huh? Now nah, I'm really doing pranks. It's like a car channel, bro. Yeah, like by my truck, my motorcycle. Like that's why I be looking at your Jeep all the time. And so yeah, yeah, it's a car channel. Let's check it out. Yeah, 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 appreciate it. We might put you on there one day. You talk about your whip, bro. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel more of the road now from the front end compared to the back. Like I can tell the noticeable difference now with the front with the back just by upgrading those shocks. You know, at first I could it was like even, but. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I can definitely feel more road vibration and everything from the front end out than the back because the shocks are newer for one. But I think these are better quality. So if I do go sign the front, of course, it probably has to now be like Fox coilovers. That's not coming anytime soon because those are super expensive. <laughs> but y'all keep watching, man. We, we'll get them for sure. But yeah, I'm not talking crap about, about Rough Country. I think it's a great starter kit and shocks. I'm not talking crap about them at all. It'll definitely get you what you need to do. But like me, I'm just riding around daily on the highway. we will be fine. Don't worry about it. But if you want to go up something just a little better, yeah, I, I, I can tell the difference. So anyway, man, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Yeah, peace. I'm always aware if you come with position. I just hold out to the perfect condition. Coming alive. Whoa.